Hello class! Welcome to my channel! This is Alan Shane at your service. But before we will start our discussion for today, I just want you to please help me subscribe my YouTube channel in order for you to be updated for our next videos. And if you have friends that wanted to know also about accounting, you can also share my videos to them. So thank you so much class for choosing my video tutorial in helping in your journey towards becoming a certified public accountant and as an ABM students or any other related courses that has an accounting. Okay, now let's start our discussion. Our discussion for today is all about the financial statements. So, financial statements, when we say financial statements, what are those? Or, or what, but before that, we will have to know what is the meaning of financial statements. Financial statements are, it structured representation of what? Financial position and the financial performance of an entity. So, the objective of these financial statements is to provide information to the financial condition and operating results of an enterprise that is vital in making sound economic decisions. So, it, uh, it's, it aims to provide information so to provide information to the economic or to the financial condition so it provides information to to provide information of financial condition or about the financial condition Financial condition of what? Financial condition of the business. So, always remember that when, uh, in order for you to know the financial condition, whether it's financial position or financial performance, we have to see the financial statements. And those financial statements have a complete set. How many sets? Six complete sets of financial statements. What are those? First set of financial statements is the statement of financial position or the balance sheet. Next is the income statement or the statement or comprehensive income or sometimes called the statement of financial performance. We have also this statement of changes in equity. So, in under this statement of changes in equity, we have these three. Owner's equity for what? Single proprietorship, di ba? Those single proprietorship, those businesses that only Oh, uh, that owns only by one person and that person is also the manager. But in the partnership also forms of business organization, the statement of changes in equity is called the partner's equity for partnership. And for cooperative, so member's equity for cooperatives. And the fourth financial statement is the statement of cash flows then number five is the notes notes comprising a summary of significant accounting policies and a statement of posi financial position as at the beginning of the earliest comparative period so now isa isahin natin ang sets of financial statements. So, isa-isa. Okay. First, we will talk about the statement of financial position or the balance sheet. What is this statement of financial position or the balance sheet? This 
balance sheet shows what? Shows the financial condition. So, shows the financial condition of the business as at a given date. So, financial condition of the business at a given date. In this balance sheet or the statement of financial position, it shows the what? The accounting values. What are those accounting values? The accounting values included in the statement of financial position are the assets. Assets, liabilities, and what? Owner's equity. So, always remember that these three will be seen in the statement of financial position or the balance sheet. And these three are called the accounting values. So, accounting values. And these accounting values, the asset, liabilities, and owner's equity is considered as a permanent accounts. So, permanent accounts itong accounting values na ito. So, permanent accounts. So, in our next video, we will have a separate discussion about the statement of financial position and also the composition of this accounting values. So, now... Uh, let's proceed to the next financial statement, the income statement. So, what is this income statement shows? So, this income statement shows what? Shows the results of operations. Shows the results of what? Results of operation. So, in the business, we can see the operations or the results of the operation in the income statement. And it shows the what? Revenue. The revenue, if it is a in a service concern or sales, if it is if it sells products to the customers. Also, we can also see the income earned and the expenses. So, dito natin makikita sa income statement or the statement of comprehensive income, ang revenue in, in terms of service concern, sales when the business sells products and income and, or and expenses in this and this four is considered the temporary accounts so if these three in the statement of financial position, the accounting values, assets, liabilities, owner's equity, is consider, or are considered permanent accounts, in this income statement, the revenue, sales, income, or expenses are considered what? Temporary accounts. So, they are considered uh, as temporary Account. So, always remember the difference uh, between the statement of financial position and the statement of comprehensive income. And the accounting values on permanent accounts when shown together with temporary accounts are called accounting elements or the elements of the financial statement so we have also a separate discussion later on about the income statement and the uh, accounts covered in the income statement next is the changes of uh, statement of changes 
in owner's equity. So, what does it mean or what is this statement shows? So, this is statement what? It summarizes. Summarizes the changes in equity for a given period of time. So, this statement of changes in equity summarizes the changes in equity for a given period of time. The beginning equity of the owner is increased by the additional investment. So, if there is an additional investment in the business and at the same time the profit, so it will increase the beginning owner's equity. But if there is a withdrawal, so ulitin ha, when in terms of additional investment, additional investment, and the profit, and profit, it will what? It will increase. Increase the beginning equity. So, begin, beginning equity. But, if there is a withdrawal and loss, so, kapag withdrawal naman at saka loss, what will happen? It will decrease the beginning equity. So, yan ha, that's the difference. Always remember, in the statement of changes in equity, if there is an additional investment and a profit, so, it will what? increase the beginning equity but if there is a withdrawal and at the same time if there is a loss so it will decrease the beginning equity okay so naintindihan okay so thank you so an uh, next uh, financial statement is the statement of cash flows so when we say statement of cash flows it is a financial statement the, that what summarizes summarizes the amount of cash and what and cash equivalents. So, sa discussion natin about uh, statement of financial position, we will also discuss uh, in the next video what is cash and what is cash equivalent. So, what is the difference between the two? So, abang-abang lang kayo sa ating next video about the discussion of those. Or, and then, uh, entering. So, uh, financial statement summarizes the amount of cash and cash equivalents entering and leaving a company. So, the flow, the flow of the cash, the cash inflows or the entering of the cash and the cash outflows or the leaving of the cash of the company is makikita siya sa statement of cash flows. In the statement of cash flows, this also includes those activities that we already tackled in my last video about activities of business organizations. What are those? The financing. So, makikita natin dito ang financing activities the investing activities, so anong mga activities included sa investing and the operating activities. So, dito natin makikita sa statement of cash flows. So, always remember ha, anong makikita sa different statement, uh, different financial statements. Okay, so meron din tayong separate discussion about the statement of financial position. Okay, so our next uh, uh, financial statement is the notes. 
So, dito sa notes, it comprise a summary of significant accounting policies and other explanatory information needed. And also, in this note, so it ca we can see the breakdown of the solutions of the sales, the cash, the uh, inventory. So, dito natin makikita lahat-lahat ng pwede nating i-include sa financial statements that cannot be seen or uh, at the breakdown we also the accounting policies dito natin mahanap sa notes to financial statements we have also this a statement of financial position as at the beginning so beginning of the earliest comparative period when an entity applies an accounting policy retrospectively or makes a retrospective restatement of items in each financial statements or when it reclassifies items in the financial statements. Okay, so ulitin natin ha. The uh, uh, financial statements are, is ay merong six complete sets of financial statements. So, ang first is the statement of financial. Uh, first is the statement of financial position or the balance sheet. Next is the income statement or Com, uh, statement of comprehensive income. Sa statement of financial position, it shows the financial condition of the business and makikita din natin dito, sina assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. And these three are called accounting values. And these three are considered permanent accounts. Sa income statement, so or comprehensive income so it shows the results of operations then makikita natin si revenue sales income and expenses si revenue is used when the business rendered services but si sales will be used when the business sale, sells product to the customers and these accounts are considered tem temporary accounts Okay, ha? Remember yan. Then, sa statement of changes in equity, we have these three. Uh, owner's equity for single proprietorship, partner's equity for partnership, member's equity for cooperatives. And, this statement of changes in equity is what? So, uh, it will summarize the changes in equity for a given period of time. So, kani, we have to consider this one also. That in the statement of changes in equity, when there is an additional investment at, at the same time profit, it will increase what? The beginning equity. And if there is a withdrawal or loss, it will decrease the beginning equity. And, the statement of cash flow summarizes the entering and the leaving of cash to the company or the cash inflows and the cash outflows. And in the statement of cash flows, we'll include these three, uh, four, uh, three activities in businesses. So, the financing activities, investing activities, and operating activities. Then, sa notes, it includes the significant summary of accounting policies and other explanatory information and the statement of financial position at the beginning of the earliest comparative period. So, that's it for the discussion in the financial statements. I hope you learned something about the financial statements and you already familiarize those important concepts in the financial statements. So, thank you so much class for listening and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and also uh, share it with your friends or classmates. So, thank you so much class. God bless.